places you can call me Ek at the Ugandan. I'm proud to uh, are brought to you by G.O.D. That is a uh, God. Of course, whenever I appear on your telecast, that means that I'm here uh, to update you what is happening in uh, the world of sports. Today, uh, we had uh, three matches in the stems at Uganda Premier League. I'm going to be giving you uh, the results, not forgetting. I'll also be updating you on what uh, the current uh, standards are on uh, the table over at the UPL here in uh, Uganda. Of course, I'll, be, I'll also be crossing over to the where the World Cup is actually uh, taking place. That is in Qatar. As we have one game that is later on today uh, between uh, Croatia taking on Argentina, where Zatan Ibrahimovic has gone ahead to tip Argentina on uh, winning uh, uh, that game. In fact, for the whole the whole World Cup, I'm going to be uh, throwing uh, more light on that. Of course, uh, we are, I'm also going to be talking about a little bit of uh, uh, credit here and there uh, with uh, what is happening with our uh, ladies and uh, men's uh, teams uh, that is uh, uh, respectively Manchester United, Chelsea, and Liverpool. I have a big news. Arsenal has just been in action against that is AC Milan. And as far as I know, Arsenal went ahead to win uh, two goals to one, a uh, squad by the one and only in Kete. It was a deflection. And uh, uh, Martin Odegaard, your captain, scored a wonderful, a uh, beautiful uh, free kick over uh, there. But before uh, we get into uh, more of uh, that uh, GC part, how about I come back here in Uganda and uh, start with uh, what is happening in uh, the world of uh, cricket with with, uh, let me begin with uh, uh, cricket uh, women where we are having our ladies actually battling it out. Uh, that is in Kenya and that is uh, earlier on today we had a game uh, between uh, Uganda taking God Kenya. Now, mind you, for those of you that watched yesterday, I told you that it was, uh, apparently, uh, the initial stage was supposed to be, uh, the initial game was supposed to be between Uganda and Tanzania, uh, but fixtures were changed along the way, and where we had to play, uh, that is uh, Kenya earlier on today. And guess what? It is uh, by God's grace that Uganda won by uh, eight uh, wickets. Uh, however, we saw uh, the likes of uh, Evelyn and Nupo are putting up a good experiences on uh, behalf of uh, Kenya, uh, Proskovia Alako on behalf of uh, Uganda, and uh, that is uh, Kevin Awino who was outstanding at uh, that uh, side. Now, uh, that is uh, what is happening in the world of cricket. When it comes to uh, Kenya uh, women's uh, T20 cricket uh, tournament that is uh, uh, taking place uh, right about uh, this uh, period over uh, here. Okay, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, because of time, allow me cross borders uh, to uh, the world of football, but still here in uh, Uganda and I update you with what is happening in the world of uh, the Uganda Premier League. Let me begin with the game that was uh, there today uh, that was uh, between uh, Bright uh, Stars uh, which uh, was taking on uh, Wakiso Giants and uh, this uh, this was uh, the first uh, game of the day. Now this game uh, it went ahead to end uh, two goals at uh, nothing a uh, game uh, between uh, Bright uh, Stars and Wakiso Giants just like a uh, you're seeing on uh, your tele, and we had to witness that the first goal uh, came through in the 40th minute. It was scored by the one and only Asebo. Uh, we had to wait until uh, the 62nd minute where we had uh, uh, to watch that is Achimbo uh, also scoring another uh, goal on behalf of uh, Wakiso Giants. Now, the other game that we had, it was uh, between uh, that was uh, Express, which was taking on uh, Vipers, a uh, sports uh, club. Now, Vipers, mind you, they are the defense a champion and they got a draw against that is a uh, express with whom uh, they took uh, the Uganda Premier League trophy away from uh, that was uh, the former or the previous uh, seasons uh, now the game, just like you're seeing, it ended uh, in a goalless uh, draw over there. We also had another game that was uh, between uh, Bull FC that was taking on uh, KCCA a football club. And this game ended uh, uh, one all. That was a one all goals draw. We witnessed that in the first 11 minutes, uh, Ziwa, on behalf of Bull, actually went ahead uh, to score uh, the first goal that we saw in uh, the game. Not until uh, the 46th minute, uh, the one and only Poloto uh, scored or equalized uh, for that is a uh, uh, KCCA football club. Now, just to give you a whole roundup of uh, what is, if I if I update you with what is happening on uh, the standings here in uh, the Uganda Premier League because of time, of course, we still have in the first position, we have uh, KCCA. Now, these are the results uh, for the whole uh, game uh, match day uh, 13 as uh, they stood or as the, the results uh, came through. Uh, but because of time, allow me just give you an update on what is happening or how uh, the table standings are. Uh, KCCA, after that is up. Uh, 
Uh, 12 games, they are still uh, leading with uh, uh, 26 uh, uh, points over their Vipers in the second position with uh, 24 points after 12, uh, 12 uh, games. A bull in the third position, we are also having Wax Giants in the fourth, uh, SC Vida uh, in the fifth. We have Alua Hill, uh, that is uh, in the sixth uh, position. Uh, we have uh, Gaddafi, uh, Bright Stars Express in the ninth uh, position, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we also have, uh, that is uh, Maroons URA, uh, Blacks uh, Power, uh, UPDF uh, coming in through in the 13th uh, position, Wakiso rather. Uh, that is Abusoga United in at uh, the 14th and Odumpadaka in at uh, the 15th uh, uh, position. Remember that we are having or oh, we have uh, 15 uh, games, uh, rather teams at uh, this uh, time around. Okay, because of time, allow me cross our borders uh, from uh, here in uh, Uganda to what is happening on uh, the European continent, especially when it comes uh, uh, to the January transfer uh, windows that are actually going to be beginning in uh, the next uh, few months. Allow me begin with what is happening, the one and only uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, the man who has gone ahead uh, to make a rounds uh, news each and every uh, the last four weeks uh, that we had. Now, Cristiano Nado, the news that I have about him uh, regards, oh, it concerns uh, uh, the one and only Al Nasser boss, that is none other than uh, Rudy Garcia, who is the coach of uh, uh, that is Al Nasser, who has gone ahead to say that the fact is I am delighted to be attached to Ronaldo in case he wants to join Al Nasser. Of course, it is everyone's uh, coach. It's, it's everyone's uh, coach's delight uh, to uh, train a person or a player of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's uh, caliber. But up to now, we don't know whether the 37-year-old uh, player who does not have a club is uh, going uh, to join Al Nasser. It is all uh, still in uh, uh, speculations over there. Okay, around, around from that, uh, let me give you what is happening with uh, the Chelsea uh, Footballer Club over there. Now, mind you, uh, Chelsea has gone ahead to update me that they are planning on having a uh, that is a behind a closed doors a friendly game against a Bradford in uh, that is uh, next week and they are going to be playing uh, that game uh, that is at the Cobham uh, training ground where Chelsea players actually go ahead uh, to make sure that they are physically and mentally fit uh, for the game now just like uh, are you seeing uh, that is uh, Aris uh, James and uh, yeah, of course his counterpart they were saying goodbye uh, to Abdabi as uh, they prepare for the fourth coming English Premier League that is uh, uh, yet to start in uh, the next uh, few uh, weeks, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, away from Chelsea, uh, let me go to Liverpool. I have news uh, coming in through uh, regarding the one and only Enzo Fernandez, uh, the gentleman who's going to be in action. Uh, that is later on today, during uh, rather on behalf of Argentina, uh, which uh, will be taking on uh, Croatia in uh, the FIFA World Cup 2022. Now, news has it from Portugal that Liverpool has gone ahead. Uh, in fact, it hasn't gone ahead, but it is close uh, to sealing a deal uh, for uh, that is uh, Enzo Fernandez, a Benfica player who is Argentine, and uh, it is rumored that uh, Liverpool is willing to pay 102 million pounds uh, uh, for this gentleman as long as uh, they sign him. Uh, that is a uh, uh, next sum. Now, this is the game that is going to be taking uh, place uh, uh, between Argentina and Croatia, but I'm going to be uh, getting onto it. Uh, that is uh, later on. Now, the news that I have uh, with regarding Enzo Fernandez. Liverpool doesn't only need this young gentleman, but they also need a uh, Jude Bellingham in one transfer window. Wow, that will be a uh, some uh, big of uh, a, a big uh, call on behalf of uh, uh, Liverpool, who host uh, their games at uh, that is the Hitahada Stadium. Now I have news coming in through the team that is a uh, Bournemouth a Football Club, which has uh, been. Uh, News has been news has been confirmed that 100 million 150 million pounds have uh, been uh, paid uh, to buy uh, that is a uh, Bournemouth uh, and uh, yeah the gentleman that is uh, the gentleman that is none other than Bill Foley uh, who has gone ahead to lead a consortium that consists of uh, uh, Michael B uh, Jordan have uh, finally been approved to take over a uh, Bournemouth uh, footballer club no so now uh, I don't know Americans and, uh, and 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 the Abu Dhabi people they are taking the word of uh, football by storm in terms of uh, owning uh, clubs are uh, here and uh, there. Okay, uh, from that, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you some news coming in through uh, uh, regarding uh, that is the one and only uh, Yao Felix. Now, the news that I have about uh, uh, Yao Felix is uh, that he does not want to join Aston Villa, just like I told you yesterday that his agent wants him to join Aston Villa, but he has said that he wants to join a club that has a big uh, pedigree in terms of uh, uh, history and substance so that he 
can still uh, be uh, relevant. However, uh, whichever team that will want to take this young gentleman, they will have to pay at least 100 million pounds from Atletico Madrid. Zlatan Ibrahimovic on Argentina. Now, is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Ibra Kadabra, the gentleman who is going to be in action from January. Uh, he, this gentleman is 41 years old. And according to his words, he is not anywhere close uh, to retiring from football. And he plays uh, for that is uh, AC Milan in Italy. Now, I was having a quick one chat with him and he went ahead to tell me the fact is Argentina is going to win uh, this uh, World Cup. It is already it is already a written uh, script as he has gone to back his uh, former teammate, that is uh, Lionel Messi, with whom they played together at uh, Barcelona some uh, time uh, back. Okay, away from that, ladies and gentlemen, I have a uh, news coming in through. Now, Chelsea, uh, I have heard news that uh, the one and only Armando Broja, he has gone ahead uh, uh, the injury. He's certain, he's certain the, an injury, and uh, he is going to be out for the rest of uh, uh, this uh, season. So, is that a good deal to bring in Cristiano Ronaldo so that he can act as a backup for, he can fight uh, for the position with Aubameyang? Now, let us uh, just wait and see. Darwin Nunes, a player for Liverpool, and uh, news has gone ahead to confirm that this gentleman has joined a uh, Liverpool at, uh, at the Abu Dhabi training camp where they are apparently I uh, remember that uh, this gentleman had uh, gone uh, he has been missing in action uh, for approximately three months uh, when he suffered a thigh a, rather a knee injury and of course he had to go uh, for surgery but it's good uh, to see him uh, back at least uh, training uh, with uh, his uh, fellow lads now the other news that I have for you is about the one and only Jimmy Murphy now Jimmy Murphy for those of you that don't know him uh, once upon a time in 19 1958, he helped Manchester United to lift uh, the FA Cup uh, uh, trophy. That was immediately uh, some few uh, months after uh, the Munich uh, air disaster. Now, Manchester United has it uh, that next year in uh, around May, they are going to uh, uphold, uh, they are going to uh, put uh, a monument uh, or a statue outside Old Trafford for this uh, former uh, legend or this uh, legend uh, in the name of uh, uh, that is uh, Jimmy Murphy. That will be exactly 65 years uh, after uh, he helped them win uh, that FA uh, Cup uh, trophy. Okay, last but not least allow me to talk to you about uh, the game that is going to be uh, taking a uh, place uh, that is later on today in uh, the World Cup before I get into the world of uh, tennis ladies and gentlemen. Now today at exactly 10 p.m. we are going to be uh, seeing Argentina taking on uh, that is Croatia at uh, the Lusare Stadium in uh, Qatar where we are having uh, the, um, uh, how many how many that is the fifth, fifth game I think it's the fourth last game fourth last game because we have a game today then another game tomorrow and then the third uh, round of uh, third place a playoff then the finals and uh, that is later on but anyway I just say it's going to be taking again our uh, Croatia and uh, that is uh, later on today now in the history of our World Cup this is going to be their third uh, meeting that is uh, between Argentina and uh, Croatia and it's going to be the first time they are meeting at a stage a crucial stage of uh, the knockout uh, stage in uh, the World Cup however what you should know is uh, uh, the fact that uh, in 1998 Argentina won Croatia one goal uh, to nothing before uh, Croatia went ahead to win uh, that is Argentina three goals to nothing in 2018 in uh, the Russia 2018 uh, World Cup edition over uh, uh, there. Now Argentina, they are looking uh, forward to reaching uh, the World Cup final for the sixth time and that will mean that they are closer uh, to Germany who have only uh, reached uh, the World Cup finals eight times. They are only better, da, better da, uh, than uh, that is uh, Germany over uh, there. Now what you should know that Argentina has never been eliminated. Whenever they get a chance to reach uh, the semi-finals, they have never been eliminated at any uh, point, especially when you look at, uh, uh, in fact they won recently, they won Netherlands. Uh, uh, that was uh, in 2014. So whenever Argentina reaches this kind of a uh, stage, oh my god, it is uh, one hell of a problem over there. Now, now, when you look at Argentina, when it comes to uh, penalties, things may not go uh, the uh, way because of uh, what we know the Christian uh, goalkeeper actually did, uh, that is, uh, recently. However, you also do not put out Emi Martinez, the goalkeeper for Argentina, uh, who was spectacular in uh, the final uh, round, uh, that is, uh, last uh, time. Now, what you should know is uh, the fact that uh, when you look at Argentina's last seven World Cup, games when they are playing uh, uh, European teams, they have actually uh, gone ahead to win just one. They have drawn thrice and uh, they have uh, lost uh, thrice. And the only time that they won, they won uh, Poland two goals to nothing 
and it was in this a very uh, World Cups edition. So is it going to be any different? Are they going to change their statistics? Uh, well, we will have to wait and see. But for updates, you will have to watch Arrest TV because we will be bringing to you each and everything that would have happened uh, from uh, that uh, side. Now, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, away from the world of football, let me talk some uh, Rafael Nadal. Now, Rafael Nadal, for the first time in uh, the history of uh, ATP, Tour. Uh, this gentleman has gone ahead to win. Uh, that is uh, the ATP Tour uh, fans' uh, favorite award. Now, this is the first time he has done it because the, the previous last, last 19 years, it has been the one and only Roger Federer uh, winning it consecutively. Now, this gentleman, he has been so patient. Uh, he had to wait uh, for Rafael Nadal, rather, uh, for Roger Federer to retire uh, from tennis uh, to t walk away with uh, this uh, uh, award. So, yeah, kudos. Uh, last but yeah, you rather be late but not not forgotten. And <laughs> you see, uh, that is uh, uh, what uh, this. Uh, of course, I was talking to him, and uh, the Spaniard went ahead to say that the, f the fact is, I thank the fans that have been uh, there uh, for me and have seen me. Uh, have seen me through all each and everything that I've actually uh, gone uh, through. Now, that is the one and only Rafael and Nadal in the world of tennis who has won the ATP. Uh, to our fans, our favorite award uh, for the first time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, because of time, allow me to uh, stop uh, here for today, but let us uh, do this thing uh, yet again. Hey, this Saturday, you have to be nowhere other than uh, that is the house of rest. For Mafido Dido, because we are going to be chilling and winning uh, lots of our uh, prizes, courtesy of Rest TV, fans and uh, uh, sponsors. For now, have yourself a good night. God bless you. Oh, my God.